Hello, statue tubers, and welcome back to Let's Look at Lots of Cool Statues in Ogre Battle with me, Blue Ankylo. Pretty much every town on this map has a, a statue. In case you're wondering, it's Balmorian Ruins, and uh, they're all statues of Saradin, and uh, I continue to try to use ineffective units, and perhaps one of these episodes I'm just going to give up on the most of my large creatures and just revert to proper squads of five small units that are, well, at least twice as strong. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. I think uh, I'm sending a unit out to deal with this cheater that's avoiding all my cities. And uh, we'll have to deal with this guy too, I suppose. But we've got lots of time. Alright, Geist! I think in the last episode we used my two um, vampire witch units and they both got to sorceress, which makes them well, hopefully stronger. I don't like seeing those misses, but... Uh, yeah, my were these are the tiger men, I believe. The tiger men are orange, and the werewolves are kind of bluish. That's looking pretty strong. We're not taking a lot of damage. We're dealing pretty good, pretty good hits. The witch will get another magical attack, I believe. I mean, uh, sorceress. Sorry, she's been promoted. Ooh, that was a good hit. I wonder if she'll just one-shot that knight. No. Hopefully we can both hit the dragon, because I'd prefer not to just uh, kill the enemy leader and let this unit run away. So, good job. Ah, no. No option there. They had to hit the guy on the left. So, this one will probably knock it back into the water. But we should be able to still block it off before it can go back to base anyway. On the other side, um, Thunder, I don't want you to let these mermaids get past. That would be annoying. Now, they'll probably be fighting in the water because we had to move, so... Oh no, it's ground, so we should have the advantage here by a long shot. Yeah. Oh, that. Ouch, ouch. Stop it. Now, that might hurt a little bit. A little. Correctly choosing magic on my golem. Hope they're not able to kill him. I need one more witch attack here, quick, before they get a turn. Kill him! Alright, good. Now, we're gonna survive, but these guys are probably gonna be able to retreat. Because our golem sort of... Well, we'll have to fight that group again. I don't have anyone that can really catch them at the moment, so... I, I would It would have been nice for me to deploy my one water unit in here. That's a pretty good spot for it. Alright, so my goal here, I think... I wanted my... Um, before I deal with that samurai unit, I was gonna let, I think... Indy or Aldrich? One of my, one of my units. My imp units. Uh, I was gonna let them heal up. I'm glad we caught the dragon here before it could run away. You don't want to prolong the battles any more than necessary. You want to finish the enemies off. I feel like some of these battles do drag on a little bit already, so... I don't like to let them regroup, if it's possible. Okay. So we've got... Indy just managed to make it back to town. He'll... Well, Dino's going to get in the way, probably, but I don't think he's going to win. Thunder. I should have paused and checked his HP, because he hasn't been in town for very long. But I think he'll be okay. I think the Eaglemen will get two lightning attacks, which might be bad against our Golem. Nah, it's nothing. I don't know the full spectrum of uh, elemental strengths and weaknesses for Golems. Obviously lightning is not something he's very weak against. I think fire is maybe the big one. Wow, magic! And he should be promotable thanks to the mod into a more powerful dragon, or more powerful golem one day. Although I don't know what day that will be. Alright, are you healed up? Basically healed up. Alright, let's move out, block this samurai unit. I do prefer defending in towns, as I mentioned last episode probably a hundred times, but uh... It's not going to be possible on this one. That stung a little. 
and luckily we got a miss. The ninjas should be very agile, so they should be pretty good at dodging and, and actually hitting their targets. I like the ninjas, but um, I don't use low alignment units traditionally in ogre battles very often, other than my lich undead combo, so I'm not familiar with, like, in practice how well they do generally, you know, um, they seem good, although they, they can't really take a hit, like, they've got pretty low defenses, they just, they're speedy, they're your, they're your agility fighters, you know how it is, and I don't like playing like that, you know, if you get hit, you're dead, but you're supposed to miss half the time, so you're sort of safe, I'd rather just have really good mitigation, good physical defense, yeah, like, he didn't dodge either attack, so he died, and it would have nearly killed him from full HP, so what could I really do? Well, could have used a card or something and run away, I guess, but... Running away is for losers. I guess if I had just used a heal potion in between, we would have been fine, but... I was trying to prove a point. <laughs> and now they're just skipping by again, like... I keep... If you watched the last episode... I put- I took these three cities, or two cities in a temple, under the expectation that they were between the enemy base and my base and we'd be defending. And then it didn't work and they just snuck in between, so I pushed forward to take another city even closer, the same thing is happening. I guess we're gonna have to go after, uh, Kanyate. Not Kanye, Kanyate. Um... It's the, definitely the wrong time, but I'm gonna send Norn to liberate it. And, uh, maybe one... Thunder seems to be doing pretty good. We'll send him to hold the line for us. And then we'll leave the other two to defend that other city, just in case. Ooh, wait, 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 hold on, hold up, hold up. Undead. Alert, alert! Uh, that means... I need someone with white magic, basically. Change of plans? I only actually have the one Liberator here, so that's just gonna have to wait a little bit. Oh, now you're running- What is this? He changes direction. I really wish my Angel unit could fly. But we managed to run into him. Probably be in the water or something, but... Uh, this will be fine. This, this really won't take very long at all. I'll focus on the leader. The princess should one-shot all the skeletons. Yeah. And then everyone else can just work on that guy. I was hoping that that angel would be able to get the kill. Because that's the one that still needs uh, a little bit of charisma to get the promotion. But no such luck. So yeah, the banish attack from angels would definitely kill um, the undead. But the starlight from the, uh, from the princess is just too much. One of the rare AoE white magics. So what do we got? Witches and clerics. Dragons and dragoners. Thunder should be okay. It's kind of nice I was able to send him first. I mean, we rearranged there a little bit, but it was fine. So we did learn... Yeah, that hits hard. Witches. Serious upgrade with that. Wow. I actually need them to die before they get another attack. Oh, that's really bad. They're gonna crush us. This pathetic witch cleric group is gonna just crush us because they use magic damage, so they just kill the golem like nothing. And then they stunned my mages before they could get their attacks off. I mean, we'll win by total damage, I'm sure. But... Ah, every time your guy dies, costs me whatever the money for the revive, and they reset to uh, progress on the next level up, basically, which is, I guess, not the end of the world, but maybe he didn't have any experience anyway, I don't know. Alright, Thunder, you need to do better. Well, yeah, like, don't get stunned. This is actually why I, I traditionally don't use golems. Another another reason for why I don't generally use large units. They are great against physical generally, but they tend to be terrible against magic. And the enemy gets a lot of magicians, and a lot of units have magical attacks, so... 
Wow, that was just about alive. Oh, 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 no, denied. Hmm. This group is not as strong as I was thinking it was going to be. I mean, you compare this to some of my uh, other groups with just five small characters, and it's... Even with all that magic in the background, with no healers... I mean, that's part of the problem. If I put a healer in it, they would at least get a, a healing spell on the golem every round. And that would actually be more effective, but... Oh, come on. Let me go before you guys go. Yeah, okay. Good. Don't let him kill you. Come on. Come on. Just hit him. Little guy with an onk. Letting him beat up your golem so bad. I'm pretty sure we can kill these girls, mermaid girls, before they hit. Before they get an attack. Yeah, the witches are quick. They, they get to go first, usually. Alright, well, we won, but I wasn't that happy with our performance. Dino's been attacked. There's a lot of black dragons around here that seem to really, really hate us. Uh, we're just gonna run away. Oops, that was actually the button I did not mean to press. Retreat. One of those buttons I've, I'm have i not really used to. Alright, so if I want to keep fighting with Thunder, I'm gonna need to use a potion here. At least on uh, the Golem. I think the mages will be okay. Maybe. <laughs> uh, so we don't want to focus on the Dragoner yet. We want to focus on the uh, the dragons if possible. Who still hit hard, but at least the physical defense is enough for our, uh, our Golem to stand fast here. Well, we killed the Dragoner anyway. And we could not even kill that dragon. Well, I'm going to try to catch it because it's in the water. It's going to move slowly. I'm going to try to finish it off. Not that we're terribly quick. Geist is under attack from behind by these terrible witch cleric groups. Not a big fan of these. Uh, we want to kill something. That's not good. Okay, well the magic doesn't work as nearly as well. I wonder what element Malice is supposed to be. Is that like black magic or something else? Hmm. That stun from that enemy witch really messed my group up. Yeah, as soon as he wakes it up. Starts killing stuff. As soon as my Tiger Man's awake. Unfortunately, I think it'll be daytime and all my vampires are going to go to sleep. We liberated Kanya. Liberation. Kenya. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. Well, that restores our reputation a little bit. I don't know. It's probably basically 100. I know we've had like a death card or whatever, but it's fine. Apprentice of Balkus. So that was the sculptor. I am, a, I am an apprentice of the genius sculptor Balkus. I must trust you with a secret. You know the statue of Saradin? Seen a couple? It is said that it is a work by Balkus, but that's not entirely true. It is just a replica of the real Saradin, who was turned to stone by Albi... It's supposed to be Albedo magic. One of the statues around here is... Wait, the real Saradin? While he was alive, Balkus didn't have the courage to tell anyone the truth and asked me to. Revelations, dear f viewers. So this is going to be... Oh. Drat. I, d I don't generally associate the Wild Men group with an undead unit. So it's got an odd leader. What have we got? Well, the Rune Axe is definitely holy, 100%. If I put that on the Rock Golem, he'll probably kill... Most of the, uh... I don't know why he had a bugle equipped. <laughs> what is he doing with a bugle? He should be able to kill most of the skeletons. 
So we want to focus on the weakest, because I want him to actually hit skeletons. And then magic can try to kill the, the leader. Okay, we should be fine here. We're actually in a bit of danger. Oh, come on! <laughs> what happened to my big physical defense up front guy? I, I was sure he was going to have enough HP to not be killed by skeletons. What level is he? Like, what's going on here? Level 13? That's not bad. Yeah, see you later, Dino. He's only one... No, that was the, dra the dragons. That's different than the... Level, I guess the, f the skeletons are very high level. Okay. But, oh, this is not what I wanted to have happen either. I got distracted. Um, perhaps should run away from this battle. Oh, maybe where tigers are okay during the day. I don't know. <laughs> Poor vampires. And then they get a full perfect stun on the entire group. Such a pain. I wish, like, when I had witches, that has that ever happened? Did you see me actually hit the entire enemy group stun-wise with a stun cast ever? Like, I know I didn't use them all that often, but I don't think I ever saw them actually pull something like that off. Even though the enemy seems to do it all the time. So I can deploy another character, another unit out, um, because I put Dino away. There's another one coming through this way. We're going to use the daytime unit for this one. We are getting attacked from a lot of angles here, which is sort of pulling me off my, uh, my usual strategy of just holding strong. Alright, this should be a easy fight, I'm pretty sure. We can actually focus on the weakest to get rid of those. Well, it's actually, yeah, okay, it's not optimal because I want my Starlight to hit all three rather than have one be dead before we use Starlight. Well, of course. Can't argue with that. Alright, we'll just try to kill one of the dragons. Hmm. Are the giants going to fall into the role of lousy large units as well? Because I was hoping the golems and the dragons and the giants would all turn out to be pretty good. <laughs> Yet here we are. Well, okay, okay. Good. Thank you. That was that was a good turnaround. You just gotta... You just gotta threaten to kick them out of the team every now and then and suddenly they smarten up. The mod should have just made it so all units were small and just balanced it off of that instead of having large units and small units because taking up two spots is just such an expense. It's so costly. Even if they have a little bit higher defense power and strength, does it ever make up for the fact that you could have just had two people that are 90% as strong as you or 90% of your HP kind of thing, right? Again, the enemy just continues to try to bypass everything. That is really annoying. So this city isn't terribly well defended at the moment. Just dragons and vampires and stuff. This one's not very well defended either, just red dragons. I'm really not a huge fan. I, I feel like these groups that I've deployed today are weaker than my average units I usually deploy, with with mostly five squad members. Now my dragons should be strong against ice. Unfortunately we're fighting in the water, which is to our disadvantage. Because they are smart and they avoided the land, the cities. And we did not get one dodge. I was hoping for at least one evasion. Oh good, now you get it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for nothing. I 
I'm seriously considering just stopping to use these, honestly. They're not... It, it seems like every large unit I try is performing below par. And did you see how quickly they changed their uh, direction there? They wouldn't attack it with um, daytime units stationed there. But like as soon as they were pushed away, the, the AI knew, oh, now there's just some, uh, some vampires and stuff. We can attack now. I, I'm not... Hmm. I, I don't recognize that behavior. <laughs> the AI actually being smart about stuff and changing its directions to attack your weak spots. That's, that's good. I appreciate it. I just don't remember that happening in the past. These... Why do we take so much damage from these mermaids? My mermaids aren't that strong, are they? I don't remember my mermaids being nearly that tough. Like... I'm just getting the feeling today that my units in this battle are always underperforming. Now, let me double check the levels. Level 13, level 13. How does that compare? Nah, one level below is totally normal. That's nothing. That's that's nothing. That really shouldn't matter. You're supposed to be able to fight... If you, Like, most of your units should be one or two levels below the enemy units. That's basically how the game is, like... How you're told to play the game. Okay. Norn, you have a princess. Prove that five units is better than three. Don't suck. I mean, that was pretty good. I definitely would like to kill that. Yes! Okay, we should be able to promote that one now. Alright, Norn's unit. It's coming along. There we go. Cherubim, get some an extra attack and probably better stat growth on level up. Good old pizza. <laughs> um, it's getting pretty high level knights up front too. They should be promoting at level 15 or so, I think. I think I'm still missing a uh, revive here. Unfortunately, they took out one of my tiger men during the day. Maybe I'm just playing poorly today, it's possible. I think a lot of it, though, is I'm trying to use these other units, my alternate units that haven't been leveling up as much. I'm, I'm, I tried to pick out my low-level units to, to balance the force out, and they're just not as effective. How's your HP looking? Fine. High noon, my angels and knights should do just fine, whatever we're fighting. In fact, we're going to focus on strong, just so the starlight can wipe everything out. Well, they can kill an angel if they focus fire, and of course they focus fire. Not much I can do against that. I hate it when you fight an enemy group that can basically kill one of your units no matter what you do. Terribly, terribly frustrating. I know I, I am using... Like, didn't... In the last couple battles, I don't remember using revives, like, at all. And now, I'm using them just constantly. I'm definitely- I must be using weaker units. There's just no way that these guys are as strong as the ones I used last battle. In general. It's not just, you know, we're one or two levels behind the enemy. I, that's normal. That's how I usually play. It's gotta be, you know, unit roster. So, I think what I've decided, finally, <laughs> after much speculation and discussion with myself, I am going to switch over to a, uh, after this battle I'm going to rearrange a bunch of units. And I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of the large units because they're just not good. Not as good. Not, not good enough, maybe is the word. I mean, here we go. We're going to use Silver Dragons. They're actually trying to avoid me. They're going to fight. There's no getting away. Double check their... Let's just fully health them up. Oops. Oh, that's fine. Full strength. Let's compare here before the battle starts. 
Level 14, level 15, level 14. We are level 13 and level 12. So we're yeah, one to two levels below. I guess three levels on the river. So it's two or three levels below. It shouldn't be... It, it shouldn't be a huge... Well, okay. Level-wise, they have the advantage. But we should have the advantage based on alignment, which should at, it should actually more than make up for it. So if we lose this fight, then these dragons might get might be getting benched or repurposed a little bit. Um, we do have more HP. I think stat-wise, we should have the advantage, but let's see here. 19 damage. We should be... And we miss. And we do nothing. 41 damage on a hit. Okay, we're definitely hitting harder because I think we're, we're probably strong to fire. So there's that. That's good. We are going to easily win this fight. I mean, the Dragoner did terrible. But, okay, that was a, that was a solid victory. So using high alignment dragons at the tight, tight, right time of day, even against higher level enemies. This is, this is more like what I was expecting. This is what I wanted to see. We're still taking some hits, but we can definitely tank it out. As long as we stop missing constantly. You know, two out of three misses is... I'm just shaking my head, basically. Alright, we got one down. Good. If we can kill the other one, I'll be happy. <sighs> it's still, I mean, like, it's not terrible, but it seems weaker than my other units, right? You guys leave a comment if you think these large sized monster units have any place in my army anymore. Cause I'm thinking they don't. Alright, we should be able to finish these guys off. Nobody should be fighting terribly effectively cause we're in the water. That should be very even for both sides. Alright. So after three battles, three encounters, we won. But we did take like two-thirds of our life in, in damage. And if they had ever focused on Riddle, they would have definitely killed him. Like if all of the flame attacks and stuff had gone after him, he would have died for sure. So, I don't know. They're not terrible. I think the dragons are definitely the strongest of the large units in this patch. But... That's not saying a whole lot, is it? And I mean, Norn's unit... This is five small units, but angels aren't particularly strong. So it's, it's kind of funny, like... She's doing so much better than, uh... Than these two, two large unit style groups. Because this is not a traditionally strong... Well, angels just aren't really very good, either. Let's see. I was gonna pause it there, I, I messed that up. I wanna see how I wanted to see how the levels matched up. I think we're fairly close. Yeah, Starlight is amazing. I mean these are enemy dragons. And they don't seem that crazy here either, are they? We definitely want to keep focusing on strong. I don't want to kill the Dragoner if I can help it. Unless we're killing everything. Which we might. One attack left. Nice! Full white. Okay, that was good. We entirely demolished a full group of Dragon's Dragoner. That same fight you know would have taken two or three rounds at least with a, a two monster group. And, I mean, yeah, the princess is overpowered. We were maybe even one level above them, though. I guess that's something to keep in mind, too. Oh, well. I'm going to stop rambling about it for now, but uh, I'm definitely going to consider restructuring my army a little bit at the end of this, uh, at the end of this mission. 
The princesses are obviously good. That's... I shouldn't really factor them in comparing princesses to dragons, because that's... Princesses are just the best unit in the game. Liches are the other best unit in the game. So those units are always going to be better. There's just nothing... And these guys are... Now they are over-leveled, so... <laughs> that's not even fair to compare. And my first paladins come from my, my angel unit. I mean, good for them. Good for them. You deserve it. So paladins, um, normally would have three attacks in the front row, and I think in the original game, one healing in the back row, just like a shaman or a monk with one heal instead of two. Um, because there's a princess, it's plus one, so they still get three attacks in the front, like the vanilla game. But I think the, the patch gave them two healing instead of one. Um, they also have, I believe, the best stat growth of all high alignment front row melee type fighters for strength. Slightly better than a samurai master. Uh, so they're really like too high of a level here. Should maybe... Well, it's almost nighttime. I will uh, pull them out of the way. I think Thunder will be fighting relatively effectively now at uh, dusk time. And these guys are just hanging out. I thought there was another unit over here. I know there was a unit like flying around, but I don't know if they changed direction or actually came at us. Let's keep an eye on the map. The enemy has definitely been moving oddly this this map compared to what I'm expecting so like this guy's not even moving well once it's full on night I'll move thunder up to crush him I guess oh now he started moving finally and he was just very confused maybe it's like all the water on this map the AI is just constantly recalculating where to move well the golem's dead um I, Iyanuki, whatever it's called, isn't that bad against the Golem, but it still is hitting hard. I mean, for a physical attack, that was pretty tough. But the AoE magic totally destroys them. Alright, that's good. A Dowser, that's how you find some buried treasure if you want. Now these guys are pretty high level. I suppose... Wow, well, the Rock Golem's having a hard time. But I suppose I could uh, teleport someone else up to this front city now. That's where we are getting most of the fighting. It's possible we're basically done here too. Let's um... No, not deploy. Let's use the boots. I definitely need to find where I buy more of these. Or if I find out you can't buy them, I'm gonna be very sad. Because I love them. And I'm just gonna check the enemy base to see if they are uh finished. I mean, maybe we're done already. I don't know. We've killed quite a lot of enemy units. So, there's nobody there. Unless there's someone flying around on the map that I can't see, we've killed everything. Which is possible. So, now I need to finish the puzzle. Okay, well, there's actually a fair bit. Oh, oh, hold on. I was going to say, it is almost time to end the episode. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll kill that mermaid unit. I believe that'll be the final map, the final unit on this map. I don't know why it keeps changing its direction, where it's trying to go. But, um, that's what it's trying to do. So we're going to try to catch it here. I guess I don't mind fighting it at night. As, I don't mind fighting it over water as long as it's nighttime. Oh, there's, there's the witch. Man, there's two units we didn't kill. Just flying around, buzzing around the outsides. I swear to you guys, I've never seen the enemy do that as much as they're doing today in this episode. The AI is feeling really weird today. All this not actually attacking your cities, just moving around the outsides, avoiding your cities and avoiding your, your units. And then as soon as you get a weak point, then they strike at it, which is... I mean, it's smart. It's just it's unusual. I'm not used to it.
I have to adjust my strategy a little. They're gonna they're gonna kill my dragon armor, aren't they? Just just barely not. All right, well we killed one. <laughs> not not terribly amazing. Geist, though, you should be on your 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 best behavior. You should be fine. Vampires, tigermen fighting on land against mermaids. How could you miss? They don't have feet. How can they dodge? Not I'm not I'm not hugely impressed here. I mean, we're resisting the attacks effectively, that's for sure. Well, I think everything's going to turn out just fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're good. Never mind. I was a little bit concerned after the first round, but then everything you saw. Alright, so now there is just that one unit left. For sure this time. And I'll finish them off and then we can end our episode. And then next time, we will deal with the Saradin riddle. That maybe, maybe not, might turn out the, um, one of the statues is an actual person. Seems interesting. I was kind of expecting that we were going to do that this episode. It just, things didn't work out. Okay. Middle of the night, an evil unit, Mrs. 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 gets stunned. That's fine. We're still very strong on defense. I would expect the Tigerman to take a lot of damage from a holy magic attack. That's fair. Oh, come on! <laughs> How can you miss so much? I thought witches were like high agility female units actually, like, am I crazy about that? No, 94 agility is, is one of her high stats for sure. That, that, that's, that's good agility and we're, we're missing so many attacks. It's probably just bad luck, but it just feels like my witches, whether they're in a witch form or a sorceress form, they just always miss. How often have you seen my mages miss with their magic attacks? Like, seriously, that almost never happens. Alright, well that'll make up for it. <laughs> Alright, so. Unless something has changed, it is possible actually, after killing those two units that uh, the enemy base deploys more. They kind of deploy more as their units get killed. Um, and sometimes they have, like, duplicates of the same squad, basically, and they won't- I don't think they deploy them until- Well, it's either space, like, I'm sure the enemy can only have 10 units deployed total, just like us, but they might not deploy duplicates at the same time when there's a choice, I don't know. We'll just fly over here and then we can see for sure. Alright, so there is definitely no one else on the map. I'm- well, 99% sure. So what I need to do is liberate the rest of the towns and um, figure out what's going on with Saradin, fight the last boss, get some treasure and all that. We will do that next episode, although I'm going to take a little break because this, this mission's been a little frustrating. And I'm going to think about the uh, what I'm going to do with some of these units because there's definitely some restructuring to happen after this battle. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Hope you haven't minded my... My thoughts and ramblings on this battle. Maybe I haven't had the best play, perhaps. Maybe I've been a little bit off my game today. Who knows? Anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hope you've had a great day, etc., etc. Leave a like if you still like it. You know. <laughs>